Hello you guys, Praxis here, and I'm going to be playing some Universe Sandbox 2. So, quick announcement, I just got called for an interview last night, so if I do get this job, I don't know how it's going to affect YouTube. It's only part-time, so it shouldn't affect it too much, but uh, you might be seeing less days where I have like five videos uploaded. It might just turn into one to two videos a day, which is, I mean... <laughs> about expected to be honest. I mean five videos a day is pretty crazy but sometimes I do that um, and yeah I just figured I'd mention that. Uh, if I do get this job though that means I can possibly pay for a new computer and some better storage and stuff like that so that'll be really nice. So let's grab the named solar system uh, thing I have here hopefully not bugged out at all Earth looks like Earth, so I assume it's good. This is actually from the uh, Alpha 18 that I made this save, but it looks like it's all fine. Um, I'm going to remove all minor objects with powers. So let's get rid of those. Um, clear all particles and dust, and there goes all the asteroids. So now we just have uh, planets, dwarf planets, stuff like that. Pretty simple. Okay. So I have a suggestion from the Great Potato, I think. Let me check this file I made. Uh, yes, the Great Potato and Marie Silverman. And this has been a suggestion I've been getting for quite a while now. Uh, sorry for the music, it's just what happens when I tap out. Yeah, it's a suggestion I've been getting a while now, and it is what if our solar system flew through our solar system? So some weird meta things going on here, but let's go ahead and find out. I'm not too sure how to do this. I believe I just select, ah uh, yes, whole system. And then I launch it like this, I think. And I'm just gonna go for, uh, okay, I wanna go higher than 10 kilometers per second. Let's go about 50, no, 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 100 kilometers per second. And pause the simulation and launch it. Okay, so we have our star here, the sun, and it looks like we have our planets. Does this also include moons? It does include moons, which I feel is going to lag up the simulation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that away from there, select all of these, Jupiter to deselect it and hit delete. Oh no, it actually did delete it all. Okay, I guess not. I'm going to select all these again. Shift left click Jupiter, perhaps. Ah, yes, there we go. That excludes Jupiter. And delete all these. And I have to do that for all of our major gas giants. So, all of our gas giants, actually. So, let's go ahead and do that for Saturn as well. All of these. And shift left click Saturn. Did I do that? No. Saturn has a lot of moons around it. This might get a little bit difficult. Oh, I got Saturn selected. There we go. Okay, so select all of these. Do the same for Saturn. And delete. Oh no, it did still select Saturn. You know, every time I undo that, Saturn turns into a different gas chamber, but that's fine. It's the same mass and everything. But I think it should be fine. And delete. There we go. Okay, where is Uranus? Okay. Oh wow, the moon's go out for a while on Uranus. Okay, and Uranus is already deselected. Delete those. Select everything by holding control and dragging your mouse over after selecting the planet. And it deselects the planet, selects all the moons, and just delete that. And for the most part, that should be fine. I don't think uh, Earth's moon or Mars's moon or any of those are really going to have any massive effects. Which I see Phobos and most little asteroid moons that orbit around Mars. So perfect. Okay. So here we go. We have our solar system getting ready to collide with our solar system at 100 kilometers per second. I know Marie Zilberman said uh, do it at a much faster speed, but I'm kind of just going for the common suggestion that I've been getting for right now. And that is just to throw the solar system at the solar system. I've been getting this one a lot for a while now. I've just been hesitant to do it. 
Or not really hesitant, it's just I've had like a queue of other suggestions going. But yeah, I've been getting this one for like over a week now. But here we go. And we should start to see some trails as they travel down towards our current solar system. And you can see them orbiting in kind of a downward spiral as they fly at a velocity kind of downwards towards that solar system. So let's go ahead and speed up time. Oh wow, look at that, all the planets are actually not moving with the star it looks like. That's super weird. I don't think there's any other way I could really do this. Yeah, it doesn't actually want to fly in the direction of the solar system. Oh, in fact, uh, everything's going to miss completely, it looks like. That's weird. Okay. I don't know how to do this in a way that wouldn't do that. Hmm. I mean, realistically, the only thing that's really going to have an adverse effect would be the sun going through the solar system, and I could do that easily, just by throwing the sun through, like, right there. And that had some effects. Yeah, that definitely made everything fly sporadically outwards. Uh, Saturn and kind of some of the inner planets stayed here. Earth went flying outwards. It's gone. It's been ejected. But yeah, I could easily do that. That would effectively be the same thing as if our solar system flew through our solar system, but... Uh, that's not quite the video I wanted to make, so let's go ahead and try to load this again and see if I can do this properly. Uh, named solar system. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab our sun slow down the game throw it at our solar system spot let's pause the game throw the sun at our solar system what I'll do is where is that new sun that I placed there it is now with the sun I'm going to travel a little ways away not exactly the distance away but what I'll do is I will throw our major gas giants at, like, different sections of the system. And this is about all I could really do to make this somewhat accurate. Things like terrestrial bodies and stuff like that won't really do much to affect the current system down here. But, uh, the gas giants should certainly have some kind of effect, right? And I guess I'll throw a like Neptune at the Kuiper Belt or something like that. So like right there. So there we go. We have a bunch of gas giants and the sun coming in towards that system. And maybe this might have a little bit different of an effect. Let's go ahead and go to Earth. And press C. And look up and see if we can actually spot that sun. Oh yeah, it's very bright up there. And let's just go ahead and hit play. Can't really see them moving very fast. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of first person mode. And see if we can... Whoops. Let's go back to Earth real quick. And see if we can just watch this system collide with ours. Since I do have all the minor particles, I'm actually going to remove those, just for performance reasons. So let's delete all particles and dust. And suddenly everything's running a lot smoother. And it looks like Saturn and Jupiter might be hitting first. If I were to guess. go see Saturn's perspective. Oh no, Saturn's actually going off in a completely different direction. 
Maybe because it orbited around the sun and then flew off. Yeah, that sun is probably having some type of massive gravitational effect. Yeah, in fact, the sun's the only thing that's actually continuing on in that direction. I guess I really didn't factor that, factor that in. Uranus is going to miss by a long shot. And here comes the sun to mess everything up. And there it goes. It just passed through rather quickly. And as you can see, a lot of the orbits have been uh, thrown off quite a bit. A lot more inclination to pretty much all the orbits. And let's see how Earth fared from this. Let's go ahead and pause time. And where is Earth? Right there. Earth is sitting at 30 degrees Celsius. It doesn't look like it was affected all that much, other than it was probably pulled a little bit closer towards the sun. It looks like Earth has received minimal effect from this, unlike our gas giants, such as... Neptune and Saturn, who are now crossing orbits, and Uranus is actually orbiting outside of Neptune's orbit. So it looks like the gas giants were significantly affected, excluding maybe Jupiter, which is actually orbiting quite inclined in comparison to what it was before. I guess I have one more test I can perform here. Let's get our named solar system going, and let's grab the sun and the entire system. And this time, we'll just launch it from right here and see what happens. And there it goes, all of our planets, hopefully following with the sun. Go ahead and remove all particles, since that is causing a lot of performance issues. Now it's running a little bit slow. Probably because all the moons are there. Yeah, it's definitely because the moons are here. So let's select Jupiter, select all these, and just delete them. Select Jupiter again, make sure you get all these this time. And it should start to hopefully speed up. Let's go over to Neptune and make sure we do it with the other gas giants. Let's pause the simulation. And it doesn't look like uh, these are actually going to follow with the sun. So yeah, it doesn't look like there's any way I could actually do this. If there is a way I could do this, do let me know down in the comments below. But from what I'm experiencing, it doesn't seem to really uh, be consistent in any way. Other than we have two Mercuries kind of following through right now. And Earth has been slung out that way, and that Earth has been slung out that way. So that collision definitely kind of destroyed our solar system. But uh, yeah, that's about the uh, result I can actually get with this. So if you guys like the video, please leave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. And I will see you guys in the next one.